Assimilate him. Skva! No! Now is the time to liberate him! Do not stand against me. In theory, yes. Is this really something you would be willing to accept? I could. I should. I have nothing to lose anymore. I'm burning up. Burning out. But this is something I can still do. This is how I can help save the city I love. Are none of you capable of thinking beyond yourselves? My people's future hangs in the balance and you're clamoring to be martyrs. That you even entertain this geish shows you have learned nothing from our time together. The Emperor may be a mind flayer, but we have needed all the help we've received. I don't think we should stop now. We hold the means to free the Prince of the Comet. How is this even a debate? Tadpole finally devoured what was left of your rational thought. We retrieved the hammer, only for it to come to naught. Finally, a modicum of rational thought. We have more options than we knew, Lazel. Give me the chance to convince you. Yes! Please. Has everyone's brains leaked from their skulls? We took the Orphic Hammer for a reason. Think, indeed. Mother Gith's only son has suffered long in his prison. Refuse the Emperor. Better yet, crush his revolting skull and let this prison be his grave. Then smash the crystals with the Orphic Hammer and free the Prince from his bonds. The Comet will guide us to a sure victory against the Brain. Jamar Sala Orpheus! The Emperor might be right, but we're not out of options yet. Let me transform. I'm... I'm not long for this world. I can feel it. You can trust me to use the stones as we planned. To defeat the brain and nothing more. It's the perfect solution. Say you agree. Please. I've never been more sure of anything. This heart inside me is about to blow. Doesn't matter which body it takes out with it, right? If this is the end for me, let me be the motherfucker who saved the world. You're very fucking welcome, soldier. If anyone was gonna look even better with tentacles, it was gonna be me. Let's do this. I trust you have aired opinions and grievances and made your decision. Are you ready to become a Mind Flayer? Hang on, no. We agreed. It's me. It has to be me. you would keep your own people chained to their damnable queen. We have the means to free Prince Orpheus, and you side with Geich. You want Orpheus dead. You'll have to kill me first. She is correct. Facing the Netherbrain without you would not be easy, but I will do it if I must. Only a newborn could be so naive. It manipulates you. It's made you its thrall, and you blindly totter your way to oblivion. Do not speak his name. To think I trusted you. At best, you are a gay pawn. At worst, you are a coward. Lies! You have been seduced by empty promises, gay tricks! To think I ever hoped for more from you. 
You have damned our people for eternity. Assimilate Orpheus, and I will rip off your every limb and bask in your agony. You forget. I have the stones. Without them, you will accomplish nothing. So the Githyanki lives. What then are you left with? What ideas remain untested? How will you defeat a nether brain? Your only choice is to trust me. So easily persuaded. So quick to turn. I am glad to have uncovered your weakness before facing the nether brain. My chances of success would have been improved by your presence. But no matter. I will do what must be done, alone. I will assimilate Orpheus, and without his protection, you will perish, just like I said you would. By Gith's eternal grace, do it. We will end the grand design. And then we will go our separate ways. You had a choice. And you took my prince from me. From his people. You took our freedom. By every right, I should cut off your limbs one by one and leave you to your screams. But I made my promise. We will slay the Netherbrain and end the illithid grand design. I will decide after that where my path should lead.